طيب يا شباب Hello, how are you? I hope that all of you are okay and I hope everything is fine with all of you. Um, some of you said that they didn't understand the future perfect or what is the difference between a future perfect symbol and a future perfect continuous. So I will make this a quick revision for both tenses. Please pay attention because this is going to be the last time I'm going to talk about a future perfect symbol or a future tenses in general. I will send you after this video the answers for workbook exercises that I asked you to under to answer and uh, and then we will start explaining the uh, or our new uh, lesson inshallah in this video we are going to know what is a future perfect symbol future perfect symbol when you want to talk about action that will be completed in the future will be completed in the future يعني هو رح يكون مكتمل الحدود ولكن متى في المستقبل okay when I want to talk about achievement I want to achieve something when you want to achieve something it's not easy to achieve it لما انت بدك تحصل على اشي او انك تحصد شيء بدك تقوم بشيء وتحصده مش من السهل انك انت تحصده او تعمله او تقوم فيه so لما بقول لك achievement something that has been accomplished by hard work ability or heroism okay يعني لما انا بحكي لك achievement معناته انا بحكي لك عن شيء تم الحصول عليه او الوصول لإله بالعمل الجاد بالقدرة والبطولة successful completion accomplishment يعني دائما السكسسفول كومبليشن بتم الحصول عليه دائما يعمل سو so, طيب شو رح تقول لي طب شو بدي بهذا الاشي رح احكي لك وات از ات هو الفيوتشر بيرفكت سيمبل يعني لما باجي بحكي لك ذيس تايم مثلا نيكست ويك نيكست مانث ان مارش ان ذا سمر اول ذيس كي ووردز اوكي talk about achievements that I'm going to achieve inshallah in the future look at this example to understand it and make it more clear for you I will be on holiday I will have climbed the mountain I will have been to the top when I go to holiday this sentence means when I go to my holiday or by the time I will be on my holiday I will have climbed the mountain. I will achieve these two aims. يعني أنا رح أحصل على هدول الهدفين. I will have climbed the mountain. رح أتسلق الجبل. And I will have been to the top of it. ورح أكون أنا واصل قمة هذا الجبل. رح أوصله. So this is by this time, by this time, or by this week, by next week, by the last, by next summer, by tomorrow, by ten years, or in five years, in ten years, in seventy years, I will accomplish these achievements. I will achieve these achievements. يعني أنا رح أحصل على هاي ال ال الإنجازات رح أقوم في هاي الإنجازات. So I'll, by the time I will be on a holiday or on my holiday, I will have climbed the mountain and I will have been to the top. ورح أوصل قمة الجبل. يعني إن هو مش بس بده يحصل على أو بده يحقق تسلق الجبل ولكن he wants also to achieve in the future to achieve being on the top of the mountain. إنه يكون في قمة الجبل. طيب future achievements okay just imagine that this time or next week next month next year what will you have done what will you have done or finished or completed or achieved just notice i told you the following i asked you this question just imagine in next week or next month or next year what will you have done ايش الاشي رح تكون انت اوريدي من هي وقمت فيه بهذاك الوقت رح تكون من هي هذا الاشي او مكمله what will you have finished ايش رح تنهي what will you have completed ايش الاشي رح تكمله what will you have achieved شو رح توصل لايش اوكي Now let's see this exercise and make it together. لما بحكي لك أنا قبل ما أنصلك للإكسرسايز ونشوف شو بدنا نعمل. 
When I say achievement, it means first something that something that has been accomplished by hard work, ability, heroism, successful competition, accomplishment. All these things. So in general, when I want to talk the future perfect symbol, I'm talking about the future achievements. Things that will be completed or achievements will be completed in the future. Okay? Look at this. Let's have this or let's uh, do this exercise together. This is a future achievement. Look at the pictures. Sorry for that voice which just appeared suddenly, appeared suddenly in this video. So, okay, let's continue. So when I'm talking about future achievements, okay, I will talk about future achievements. Look at this picture. What do you see in this picture? Look at this picture and make a sentence in a future perfect symbol, okay? This picture, there is a man who's holding a key. This key belongs to this car and we have a calendar here. Oh, it means this in this state, this man will accomplish his aim by buying, will accomplish his aim by buying a new car. Let's see what do we have here. This time, next month, he will have bought a new car this time next month يعني بهذا الوقت الشهر الجاي هو راح يحقق هدفه بإيش بشراء سيارة جديدة he will have bought a new car he will have bought a new car إذا this time by next month uh, in ne uh, by next month or in next month or this time next month he will have bought a new car رح يكون طبعا محقق هدفه بشراء سيارة so this is a future achievement now this time next year look at this okay this is a bag a traveling bag calendar and he's holding a bag so this time next year he will have a travel to Paris for example he will have traveled around the world he will have traveled uh, to Italy he will have a travel to Alaska whatever is it so these are achievements okay so this time next year he will have a travel to New York Rome Paris and London he might travel to many places, not one place. So as I told you, he will have traveled to New York. He will have traveled to Rome. He will have traveled to Paris, London, and so on. Or maybe you can mention more than one place. Imagine that you are Dave this time next month or by the next time. This is a card, traveling card from your friend. She's saying... Hi Dave, having lovely time, wish you were here, the weather is lovely and there is lots to do, uh, pack in two weeks, see you then, love you Susan. Susan sent Dave this card telling him about her appointment or when she will come. So this time next month, she will have come back from Chicago, okay? So she will achieve her coming back to her country in next month so she in next month or uh, by the time uh, by the time she finished she finish her work she finishes she finishes her work she will have come back from chicago she will have come back from chicago this time next year okay this is what this is a house Maybe it will be like a city. So suppose uh, you are a worker or you are building your house. You start building the house. So this time next year, I will have finished building my house. I will have finished building my house. Let's see. This time next year, they will have finished the house. This time next year, they will. I will have finished the house. 
for example we can say in two years i will have finished my house i will have finished building my house i will have completed building my house so we have different different things we can say so all these are what achievements now let's move to talk about future perfect continuous we said that in a future perfect symbol we are talking about achievements things that will be achieved in the future okay so but in a future perfect continuous this tense describes an action that has been in a progress for a duration of time so and so as i told you in a future perfect symbol we are talking about achievements that will be completed in some time in the future maybe next year or by the time you will arrive here by the time you get home by the time i grow up okay i will have uh, for example i will have uh, improved my skills i will have uh, learned the language and so on but in a future perfect continuous you need to know that this tends to describe an action that has been in a progress when i say has been in a progress it means it is still in a pro it was in a, in a progress for a duration of time before another event or time in the future so i have here so uh, as i told you whenever you are talking about future perfect continuous you are talking about action which has been in a progress for a long time for a duration of time that's why in this we are using will have been verb ing as i told you before either will in a future perfect continuous on future perfect symbol or future perfect uh, continuous you need to know that have cannot take ing after it or verb 3 past participle بدك تعرف يا مس انه دائما بالويل be going to shall دائما واحنا حكينا انه sometimes we can use be going to I can use be going to I can use shall I can use uh, and I can use uh, well okay so these three expresses the future perfect continuous and the future perfect continuous but as I told you we need only will and be going to it's okay for me no problem for using be going to okay so as I told you again this tense we use it when we want to describe things or a situation has been in a progress before and notice on this word before before another event or time in the future يعني قبل ما يحصل حدث آخر بالمستقبل أو بالpresent time يعني it could be in a present time so I can use the second sentence maybe in a present time or maybe it will be in a future but you need to know that because i'm talking about a duration of time see i'm talking about a duration of time i use well uh, sorry i use for and since look at this example by the time he finishes law school he will have been living in the u.s for eight years it means that he's living now in u.s and he's a studying law but by the time he finished law okay law school he will have been living there for eight years this is what this is a key word in future perfect symbol we said also we can use a future symbol or a present symbol but here look something to help for or since so here i'm giving you what a duration of time i'm giving you a period of time i'm showing you time but when i say by the time i finish my studying i will have accomplished two years of studying okay so this is different i didn't give you the time i didn't give you how many time how much sorry how much time i'll be there how many years i'll spend in this but here in this tense i'm giving you two period i'm giving you a period of time look at this shape here 
We form it by adding will have been, then verb ing. Look, this is action, future. Okay, this is a future perfect continuous. This action will be in a program. Will he will have been living in the U.S. for eight years. And this action will be in a present. Okay, so we have a present. We have a future. In the future, when he finishes low studying or low school, he will have been living in the U.S. for what? For how many years? For eight years. So I'm giving you here a duration of time. Same keywords by the time in 10 years, in five years, in so many years, but there is what there is a duration of time. I'm at, uh, in a future perfect, is, uh, as you remember, in a future perfect symbol, as I told you at the beginning, that we have what we have by the time, we can use when, we can use n plus time expression in five years, in six years, and so on. But here I'm talking, I, I wasn't talking there about a progress action. Okay, I was talking about something will be completed in the future by this time. إشي رح يحصل بالمستقبل ويكون منتهي بإيش بهذا الوقت. هون لما إجيت حكيت لك عن the future perfect continuous أنا حكيت لك إنه action كان في حالة الاستمرارية لفترة زمنية من الوقت قبل ما يحصل event or action or time in the future. لأنه ممكن أنا أجي أحكي لك time. It doesn't mean always to say uh, by the time he finished though, I mean say in 10 years, he will have been living in the USA. Okay, without using for or since. I hope that you understand. Let's continue. Okay, look at this example. I will have been sleeping for an hour by the time my uncle comes. Look, I'll be sleeping. رح أكون نايم. At that time, okay, at that time, I am using, because I'm talking about a duration of time, I'm talking that I will be sleeping at that time. And even when my uncle comes to home, I will be sleeping. So it will mean, it will mean the following. I will have been sleeping for one hour. By the time my uncle comes. So when my uncle comes back, the duration of time or the time that I slept in at that time or the time that I was sleeping in, it will be for one hour. يعني رح يكون لمدة ساعة. إذا بالسنتنس هون أنا بوضح لك إنه لما الأنكل comes, my uncle comes by the time, يعني بالوقت اللي بيرجع فيه, my uncle to home, that's supposed to mean that I will have been sleeping for an hour. يعني أنا رح يكون لي إلي نايم لمدة ساعة كاملة. It doesn't matter. بدك تعرف إنه مش من المهم. أعرف إذا رح يكمل الحدث أو ما يكمله. بدنا نعرف إنه this action with for and since نحكي for أو since نستخدمه مع the future perfect continuous وبيكون عندي the will have been sleeping وإحنا حكينا إنه the have لأنها the will ما بتاخد ing وال have كمان ما بتاخد ing the have دائما متصاحبة مع the verb three فبنستخدم اللي هو التصريف الثالث من الفعل be been لأنه بيقبل إضافة ال ing and this action my uncle comes it means we have here another event occur at the same time as a future perfect continuous. يعني بهذا الوقت رح يكون في عندي إيش أنا رح يكون ال uncle comes back to what to home. شباب رجاء أنا القاعدة جدا سهلة وال الكلوز كتير واضحة والدلائل واضحة جدا. يعني إن شاء الله تكونوا فهمتوها وخلينا نشوف إذا نقدر نحل more exercises about it. ناخد آخر إشي آخر بارت في هذا الفيديو لما بدي أعطيك future perfect symbol versus future perfect continuous يعني بس بدي أشوف شو الفرق بيناتهم هلا هون يا مس بال future perfect continuous express an action that will continue into the future up to a specific time يعني لاحظ إنه أنا بعطيك بال future perfect continuous بعطيك إنه هو بعبر لك عن حدث رح يستمر 
للمستقبل حتى وقت محدد يعني في عندي specific time تمام بينما لما باجي للفيوتشر بيرفكت سيمبل بيحكي لنا عن اكشن ذات ويل بي كومبليتد برير تو اور باي سم سم سبيسيفايد تايم يعني اما رح يكون هو الاكشن رح يكون كومبليتد اوكي باي سبيسيفايد تايم او اتس جاست كومبليتد وي اوفن مي يوز وي اوفن يوز لاحظ هون بنستخدم احيانا اكومبلشمنت فيربس شو الاكومبلشمنت فيربس اللي هي الافعال اللي بستخدمها لما بدي احكي عن اشياء انا قمت فيها وعملتها بشكل صحيح 100% لايك like decide solve to with simple tense بيجوا دائما مع السيمبل تنس يعني يا اما فيوتشر سيمبل يا اما بيجوا بريزنت سيمبل شو اتوقع انه هيك احنا فهمنا كل شيء بخص الفيوتشر بيرفكت سيمبل فيوتشر بيرفكت كونتينوس خلينا نشوف الاكزامبلز الموجوده عندنا شوي عشان نحكي عن الفيوتشر بيرفكت كونتينوس تنس ذا فيموس ارتست ذا فيموس ارتست ويل هاف بين بينتينج The mural for over six months by the time it is finished. يعني بالوقت اللي رح ينتهي فيه هو the project of this famous artist, he will have been painting it. This project, the mural, the mural for over six months by the time it is finished. طبعا انا ما بقدر اترجم لك كل شيء يا مس حرفي بامكانك هي الصوره بتكون قدامك لاكثر من وقت وبامكانك انت تترجم الكلمات تو يو ويل هاف بين ويتينج فور مور ذان تو اورز وين هير بلين فاينلي ارايفز يعني اوريدي انت قبل ما توصل هي طيارتها انت رح تكون عمالك عم تستناها لمده ساعتين لاحظ استخدمت لك فور for more than two hours لأكتر من ساعتين when her plane finally arrives present simple بس عندي هون شغلة ساعدتني اللي تدلني انه هذا future perfect continuous اللي هي الفور طيب نيجي لهاي فيديا will have been having his driver's license for over two years Vidya will have had his driver's license for over two years. Now look at these two say examples. When I'm talking about achieve something, I'm not talking about something in a progress. This using this to talk about driver's license is incorrect because I achieved this. You know that whenever you want to get your driver's license, you need to know that You have to do what you have to do, or you have to go uh, to go through many procedures. You have to do oral exams. You have to drive in front of a group of people. Does a group of people decide whether you are going to have it or not? So this is what this is achievement. I'm not in these two examples. I didn't talk about achievements. I talked about a period of time that has been in a progress. But here, it's incorrect to use it to talk about something you achieved. See another thing that can help you. شغلة تانية بتساعدك يا شباب. هلا أنت لما بدك تحصل على رخصة القيادة أو بدك تنجح بالامتحان أو بدك مثلا تحصل على شهادة الجامعة أو شهادة التوجيه أو كذا. انت بتستخدم ال future perfect continuous ولا بتستخدم ال future perfect symbol اكيد اي شيء بتعلق بال aims بال achievement اللي انا بدي احصل عليه هدف او achievements بستخدم له ال present perfect symbol because I accomplished this I achieved this not I was waiting for this so Vidya will had will have had his driver's license for over two years. يعني هو رح يكون الرخصة حصل عليها بما يعادل سلامة ذات سنتين.